You having a good time? Our nation is witnessing a merciless campaign to wipe out our history, to fame our heroes, erase our values, and indoctrinate our children. American heroes defeated the Nazis, dethroned the fascists, toppled the communists, saved American values, upheld American principles, and chased down the terrorists to the very ends of the earth. We are now in the process of defeating the radical left, the Marxists, the anarchists, the agitators, the looters, and people who, in many instances, have absolutely no clue what they are doing. We will never allow an angry mob to tear down our statues, erase our history, indoctrinate our children, or trample on our freedoms. One of their political weapons is cancel culture, driving people from their jobs, shaming dissenters, and demanding total submission from anyone who disagrees. This is the very definition of totalitarianism. There is a new far-left fascism that demands absolute allegiance. They are determined to tear down every statue, symbol, and memory of our national heritage. Our children are taught in school to hate their own country and to believe that the men and women who built it were not heroes, but that were villains. They carried American warriors into the dense fields and jungles of Vietnam. They delivered a swift and sweeping, you know that, sweeping. It was swift and it was sweeping like nobody's ever seen anything happen. Under the executive order I signed last week pertaining to the Veterans Memorial Preservation and Recognition Act and other laws, people who damage or deface federal statues or monuments will get a minimum of 10 years in prison. Here tonight, before the eyes of our forefathers, Americans declare again as we did 244 years ago, that we will not be tyrannized, we will not be demeaned, and we will not be intimidated by bad, evil people. It will not happen. <laughs>